Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Rock Sign. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 16 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. called Inside Voices. So we start off with um, Hale um, to Coulson's stuff, like his bed, his food, and all this other stuff. And then we have Hale is testing Creole with the Gravitonium. And it literally latched on to him when he uh, touched it. So it's kind of basically like alive and then was able to pull out. But his brain is a little scrambled because he hears the uh, doctor's voice that got absorbed in it the first time. Then we have Yo-Yo is training with her new robotic arms, which look so sick. It looks so cool. And then uh, Matt comes in, tells her to slow down. He's, he's saying he's not babying her, but let's be honest, he is babying the crap out of her. Like, just telling her to slow down, which she does need to slow down, but he's, he's being a touch on the needy side, and it's kind of annoying a little bit. And then we have uh, Deke and Fitz talk, and then Fit, uh, then Deke talks to Simmons about basically parent, you know, about um, about them in the future, or they kind of want answers and stuff. And then Simmons kind of talks to herself, it's like, I don't, I should know, I don't need to know, don't tell me. And um, he mentions both times, like, have you noticed Daisy's being a hard ass? And then when I noticed, Obviously, this is in a sale. I mean, <laughs> and then um, we find out that Daisy is going to see Robin. And then we have uh, Yo-Yo and Simmons want to get device with Fitz. And they're, they're having like a robot because um, Mac is the only one that can open the cage. And Daisy's refusing to let Fitz out. Then Hale talks to Creel, but he's still kind of fuzzy. He's not 100% there because of all the stuff. Because I feel like the gravitating and transmitted memories to Creel, and that's all in his head. Then Daisy picks up Robin, and then we have Ruby talks to Von Strucker. And then we have, um, and he's basically detranslating or translating to work a device to help with the gravitonium infuser. And he's working like really, really hard on it. And then we have Daisy tries to talk to Robin, but with no luck. Then Yo-Yo talks to Mac, and that's also a no-go. And then um, to let Fitz out, and so they can go on their little side mission. And then we have Creole talks to Colton. And basically... Grabs him by the throat and tells him what, and then Colson drops the ball about Talbot, and so they um, he agrees to go with him to make sure that's actually true. And then we have then um, also then we go back to um, we talk Daisy's trying to talk to Robin again, but that's also no look also no look with the drawings either, but. Then Robin sees May and starts to talk to her. And then we have Creole and Colson try to bust Talbot out. Then we have Simmons tries to prove to Mac that she can't be killed by basically taking three glasses of water and one of uh, some dangerous compound that will literally kill her. And she literally does it. The first two went great. The third one... Not really. And so she uh, basically is freaking out. And then only Fitz knows where the um, the thing to counteract it with is. So Matt lets Fitz out. But uh, Simmons faked it. And Yo-Yo lot Matt in the cage. And then we have Robin talks to May some more. And say Colson is going to die. And then we have Creole. It's basically he's cracking a little bit more. He's like really starting to have a mental breakdown. And then we have um, Hale knows that they are trying to escape. Then Colson got hit, and he was technically dead for like a few seconds for sure. But Creole saved him thanks to also Talbot. And then they run into Ruby, so they run for it. Then Creole says, "I'll hold them off." And then you have um, Creole versus Ruby. 
Then Coulson and Talbot escape through that um, device that they um, Hale used to transport them to the alien ship. And then we go back to Creole versus Ruby. And I will say the fight scene in this was crazy good. Like, so freaking good. It was ridiculous. And then Ruby was... Uh, she was starting to lose control a little bit. Then Hale tries to stop her, but she's still through her uh, thing. Her, I don't know, it's like the Xena word presses, uh, sh um, discus thing. I don't know what you call it, to be quite honest with you. And so she throws it, but uh, Creole's son can see absorb the wood in his hand. And so that saved him. And then. And then we see that Coulson and Talbot are in the wilderness and the cold and then we cut to a flashback of ian quinn four years ago with reina and the gravitonium absorbed quinn so that's why no one has been able to find him and that's the end episode what uh episode i freaking loved it i'll give us a i'll give us an a uh, it would have been A plus if Mac hasn't been so freaking needy. He's been needy for a few episodes now. He needs to back up off of that. But this was a good episode. I really enjoyed it, especially the fight scenes and the dynamic between everybody and how like you know how they're all convinced that they're not going to die and all that type of stuff. For especially for Fitz Simmons and Yo Yo. Anyway, I'm so excited for next week. And so just this series in general has very few bad episodes. Like, I think they're all pretty good, but only there's maybe about four or five that I may mean, I'll probably give like a C or something. But so good. And I definitely want to dive more into the series whenever I have time. I literally don't right now. Anyway, um, I think that's wonderful for this video. I'm just super excited to see what's coming up next. So anyway... If you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode, and also for any other suggestions, whether it's t a TV show, a movie, or a song. Just let me know down below, and then subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, and have an awesome day, night, or evening, whenever you watch this. Bye, everybody.